The president's tweet over the weekend, the latest salvo in the war between the president and the media, could this distraction hurt the markets? Yeah, let's send that question over to Jonathan Honig at CapitalistPig.com, who joins us now. Does it concern you, all the tweeting, Jonathan? Is there a market <laughs> impact with it all? Well, it, it does. I mean, even remember during the campaign and earlier on in the president's uh, administration, individual tweets would be moving the stocks of individual companies. So there's no question, ladies, that it does have an impact. And I think from a business perspective, there's no question you'd much rather see the president tweeting and talking about so many of the business initiatives that sent him to the White House. Tax cut, health care reform, regulatory reform. I think most investors, certainly given the great first half we've had, would probably rather hear about that rather than squabbling with the media. They probably would, but it's interesting because the president's um, supporters, uh, his press secretary in particular, have said, well, this is, this is President Trump. This is who he is. So if this is who he is and he's going to be for the remainder of his term, how do investors take that? Well, he's also a businessman, and that's, of course, what investors are focusing on. I mean, even look at the first half. We saw many companies with not great earnings or not huge earnings do quite well. A lot of the speculative companies like Facebook, like, like uh, uh, Tesla, like Amazon, not huge profits per se, but strong price performance. So I think that's what, uh, ladies, uh, uh, investors are focused on, not the squibble squabble of uh, Washington infighting, but how is the president, how is the administration going to put the economy on track for even and more gains. And you know, although it was the technology sector that led the market in the first half, it really does look like it's going to be the banks in the second half that could be higher interest rates, and that's going to also be a challenge for the economy. So a lot to worry about in the second half. But boy, goings on in Washington, specifically with President Trump and his tweeting, Jonathan, really do impact market moves. If you look at the tweet storm, you know, he did send out, hey, the market's at record high after berating the media in earlier tweets. So do you think that was contrived? That markets at record high uh, tweet, you know, just trying to sort of say, hey, I'm using this to be productive, not just to, you know, incite wars and squabbles, as you said. I, well, I, th I think it's a little disingenuous. I mean, the market was at a, an all-time high last summer before the, the president was elected. So we've been in the midst of a multi-year bull run in stocks and specifically in technology, eight months up for the NASDAQ. We'll have to see what July brings could be a tough one. Yeah, no, the NASDAQ, even though we've had some pressure on tech stocks, it's been the best performer so far. Yeah. Jonathan, thanks for uh, joining us, especially on this holiday Thank weekend. You. We appreciate seeing you. Yep, have a great fourth. Thank you, guys. You can do the same.